it's safe to say that airports and disabled people haven't always been the best of friends. If you have mobility needs, most airports and airlines require you to book assistance in advance, which usually means being manually pushed by staff to a predetermined point within the terminal, resulting in a loss of autonomy and independence. But this might just have the potential to change all that. This is the Will Autonomous Wheelchair. At first glance, it looks pretty much like a normal power chair, but thanks to some very clever technology built into the front here, this has the potential, at least, to transport passengers from security all the way over there, perhaps via duty-free, all the way to one of the gates, like the ones behind me. It has two wide-angle cameras on the front, cameras on the back, as well as LiDAR and infrared sensors. They combine to make sure the chair doesn't collide with anything. Prior to the chair being let loose on passengers, it has to spend several days plotting routes around the terminal building, in this case JFK's Terminal 7, all the time building up an internal map which it uses to locate itself. I arrived to see the start of a two-day live trial. The process starts from um, the site survey, so we understand the airport environment, um, for example, how do customers line up for boarding, um, how crowded the terminal is going to be, what's the peak hour, what's the non-peak hour, things like that. Um, and then eventually we have to talk with operationals. Um, how do we actually bring this, integrate this together with the existing wheelchair service? Now, the concept of self-driving wheelchairs isn't necessarily new, but Will's autonomous chair is the first to be trialled in live airport environments. Of course, it only gets you from security around the terminal, and doesn't solve the problem of getting on and off the planes themselves. This trial is a partnership with British Airways, who are looking to see if the technology can be used to improve the experiences of disabled passengers. Now, of course, I couldn't resist taking it for a spin around JFK myself. Literally just press go. Yeah. Taking us down towards gate three. Now, if I'm being critical, the ride could have been smoother. The chair has to stop often when it senses obstacles such as people, and in a busy airport like JFK, there are obviously lots of those. I, I already feel quite safe. I don't feel like I'm gonna run anyone down. I feel like the queen. Hello. After I'd had my few minutes of fun, it was time to let the more important people, actual passengers, try it for the first time. However, it didn't completely go to plan. Call it the click curse, but despite many dozens of successful tests, with its first passenger, the chair seemed to think it was in a different place, causing it to get confused, and staff eventually had to take over. Subsequent passengers did try the chair and it did work well. They just didn't want to be filmed, so you'll have to take my word for it. Despite the unsuccessful ride, Hansa was still positive about the potential of such technology. It's wonderful, wonderful. Would you use it again? I would, anytime. With being independent and there is nothing that you wait for somebody, you just go when you feel like to go. Maybe because I'm getting in that age, so I need it. <laughs> the next stage for the wheelchair is a full-scale trial at London's Heathrow planned for March, which will pose its own set of challenges. If it's a success, we could see these rolled out across airports where BA operates. Air travellers needing assistance will be watching with interest.